A breakwater is a structure designed to reduce the impact of waves and provide protection to coastal areas, harbors, and marinas. Breakwaters are typically built parallel to the shoreline and are made of various materials such as concrete, rocks, or steel. The function of a breakwater is to reduce the intensity of waves and currents, thus reducing the erosion of the shoreline and protecting boats, ships, and other vessels from being damaged by the force of the waves. Breakwaters work by providing a barrier that slows down the energy of incoming waves, causing them to break before reaching the shore or harbor. In addition to wave protection, breakwaters can also provide a calm water area for recreational activities such as swimming, fishing, and boating. They can also serve as a habitat for marine life by creating a protected environment for fish and other aquatic animals. Breakwaters can be classified into different types based on their design and construction, such as rubble mound breakwaters, vertical wall breakwaters, and offshore breakwaters. The specific design and placement of a breakwater will depend on various factors, including wave energy, water depth, shoreline characteristics, and the intended use of the protected area. There are several important checks necessary for breakwater design and construction to ensure that the breakwater is built to the required specifications and standards, and that it can withstand the harsh marine environment. Some of these quality checks include Design The design of the breakwater should be based on the site-specific conditions, including wave climate, water depth, and seabed characteristics. The design should be checked for its adequacy and compliance with the relevant codes and standards. Materials The materials used for constructing the breakwater should be of high quality and comply with the relevant standards. The materials should be checked for their strength, durability, and resistance to corrosion. Foundation The foundation of the breakwater should be solid and stable to withstand the weight of the structure and the forces of the waves. The foundation should be checked for its stability and adequacy. Construction process The construction process should be monitored to ensure that it follows the approved design and specifications. The construction process should be checked for compliance with the relevant quality control procedures. Testing The breakwater should undergo various tests, such as load testing, to ensure that it can withstand the expected loads and forces. The tests should be carried out in accordance with the relevant standards and procedures. Overall, the checks necessary for breakwater construction should be comprehensive and cover all aspects of the design, construction, testing, and maintenance of the structure. This will help to ensure that the breakwater is built to the required standards and can provide the necessary protection against waves and storms. Prior to laying geotextile the seabed will be inspected to ensure that it is free from debris and material greater than 100 mm. In size, this inspection will be carried out by survey, and door with an underwater video camera, mounted on a remotely operated vehicle, equipped with positioning equipment. Recordings will be made. Any debris or other extraneous material located, will be removed, either by divers or by the crane barge, depending on its sizes. This existing seabed will be surveyed using survey lines at 15 meters centers, across the width of the breakwater, prior to laying the geotextile. 5 to 500 kilograms. Material will be dumped from split barges to form the main body of the core of the breakwater, up to a level of approximately 4 meters chart datum. Dumping will take place in accordance with a prearranged dumping plan. The barges will be equipped with an DGPS system, a gyro compass and an onboard computer. This equipment will enable the barges to be dumped precisely at predetermined locations, and the dumping position to be recorded. Regular surveys will be carried out to monitor the progress of the dumping, and dumping plans will based on these surveys. Side buns of core material on both sides of the breakwater core will be constructed by side dump vessel. These buns will be built to a height of approximately 3 to 4 meters. Core material will then be dumped by split barges between the buns up to the top of the buns. This process is repeated until the placed core has reached a level of approximately 4 meters chart datum. Further core material above this level will be placed with the side dump vessel. The side dump vessel is equipped with side thrusters and DPGS. Using the side thrusters in combination with the positioning system enables the stone to be very accurately dumped. When the core has reached the maximum level that can be built with the side dump vessel, 
the remainder will be built up to above the water level, using a floating crane and material shipped in on a flat top pontoon. After survey of the tow armor, the tetrapods will be carefully placed, at the locations shown on the approved construction drawings, with a crane barge equipped with a placing control system. Special handling slings will be used and the tetrapods so placed as to achieve the required density. Breakwaters or structures constructed offshore to protect the shoreline and coastal structures from the destructive forces of waves, currents, and storms. The construction of breakwaters should be carried out with care for the environment to prevent the negative impacts. Before constructing a breakwater, an Environmental Impact Assessment EIA, should be conducted to determine the potential environmental impacts of the project. The AS should identify the sensitive areas that need special protection during the construction process. During the construction of breakwaters, measures should be taken to protect marine life, including temporary relocation of fish and other species in the area. Silt curtains should be used to prevent sedimentation and protect sensitive habitats. All waste generated during the construction process should be disposed of in a manner that does not harm the environment. Any debris or waste that enters the water should be removed promptly. Overall, it is crucial to take appropriate environmental care measures during the construction of breakwaters to ensure the protection of sensitive marine habitats and minimize negative impacts on the environment. Please make sure you click the like and subscribe button as we will continue with more videos on engineering knowledge from this channel. Thank you for your support.